fishing, just fishing, fishing, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, just fishing. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks, chicken jerks, fish. Chicken jerks, chicken jerks. Say hi, Tony. Hey, how are you? It's been a long time. Has it? Not really. <laughs> and you can't see him even though he's standing up in the front, but Sweeney's up there. <laughs> oh, there you are. I thought you... <laughs> I, I really thought you were in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought you were in the front. I really did. So here's the story today. A lot of wind. Anybody in the Northeast knows it's uh, what is it? October 20. It's been windy like crazy. We're gonna stay in the bay local and hit some rock piles and maybe tie up to a dock actually that we know has blackfish. Okay, here we go, guys. And as you heard in that cold intro, this is Saturday, October 20. It's myself, John Halkius, my boat partner, John Sweeney, our good friend, John Kiriazis, a.k.a. Doc, the three Johns, joined by our non-John friend, uh, my good friend, Tony, somebody I fished with for 13, 14 years now, an excellent black fisherman, one of the one of the best I know. Um, and it, it was a really windy day. And if, if you live in the Northeast, you know that we've just had a string of these. It's going on two weeks now with, uh, really no days under 10 mile an hour winds and it makes for a smaller boat like ours 25 footer and doesn't sound small but it, you know in the Long Island Sound scheme of things and some of the spots we fish it, it it's on the smaller side um it, it, it could make it unfishable and we decided to try it anyway uh we were going to fish in uh Peconic Bay uh we you heard in that intro we we're going to fish some docks and then try, try some other spots if we didn't catch fish and what you're seeing here is us fishing uh, some local docks and just had a, a bunch of shorts there uh we did another drop uh, more shorts and finally we settled on a third spot uh we let the bite build you'll you'll hear more about that in a bit and you know we wound up putting a good day together especially Tony who had a, a lot of nice keepers um and really the theme here is don't let the weather prevent you from fishing as as long as it's safe right we were we were in Peconic Bay even though it was blowing at times 20 miles an hour uh, it's a relatively narrow body of water the waves don't build up that much we were safe um and you know we grinded it out and we 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 put a decent catch together and again without our transducer long story short we we pulled the boat to to fix the transducer and never got the part so uh uh we were we were doing this just with marks on our gps um hope you enjoy this video and as always if you do like it uh, hit that like button and if you're not already a subscriber and you want to see more content like this please do hit that subscribe button oh he's oh, back on yeah, as soon as you go down now. Look at this. But it, it feels like there porgies, to be honest. Oh, there you go. Oh, drop it. Awesome. Awesome. Had weight. I so know. the pole bent? Yep. Had weight. Back on it. Feels like porgy bites, though. Ooh. Nice one, right. Oh. Ooh, I just kind of got it. On? Oh, yeah, I'm on. Yes. Nice porgy. I'm on, too. We got we got the porgies here now. Mine's a block. Mine is a block. Oh, they're coming, guys. Two blackfish, boys. And this was actually our third drop of the day, uh, third location, uh, when I say drop. Um, we struck out at the docks that you saw in the opening sequence. We went to a second spot, didn't do anything there. And we came to this third spot, uh, didn't have any action for five, six minutes. Then we started getting little bites that we thought were porgies, and sure enough, they were blackfish. And building the bite is a big part of blackfishing. I can't tell you how many times a spot is completely dead, and then uh, you start catching smaller fish, and... It, it, it it always happens. The smaller fish eventually become bigger fish, and it, you need a lot of patience. I don't personally subscribe in that uh, changing spots a thousand times. I think if you find life, chances are, if you know there's big fish around, the big fish will find you. The blackfish are not as solitary as we all think. They they do move around. No, no, I did it. Ooh, Doc's on something. Oh. I like that, Doc. What do you got, Doc? Ooh, taking line. Taking line. What are you talking about? Yeah, 
it's fighting like a sea bass actually. Well, Doc, that's a keeper if it's a black. What do you mean it could be a keeper? You. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do we find him? No, just swing him in, Doc. Just grab it with your hand. I know how to do it, but you know, if it's a keeper, you don't. Doc, Doc, it. Doc. It's 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 not a ten pounder. <laughs> It's a nice fish though. I think it's a keeper. It's 100% a keeper. It's 17, 18. Nice job. Good job. What is it? If it looks like docks, oh, bigger than docks, of course. Yeah, it's a really good fish, dude. Nice job. Wow. That four and a half, five. Double hooked. Nice job, Tony. Look at that. Nice. Beefy, Be beefy is not is right. And change. He hit me hard, huh? No, he might be a keeper. Oh, it's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Get the net? I got the net. Get the net! Shut up, bring it up. It's not that big. I'm not gonna net a 14 inch fish. That's all it is. It's a keeper. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's wide. Hold on. You know how wide this fish is? I can't put my hands around it. Ooh, ooh, Tony's on a big fish. Holy oh, fish. why'd you curse? Oh, I take that back. Need a net? Yes. Yeah, so so you're up. Get him the net. I got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woohoo, Tony. Tony boy. Nice I got the two biggest ones. So yeah, far. that's a nice one. Another 18, 19. Slide. Yeah, as soon as I go down. short I think. Ooh. Maybe not. He just took a run. This will pass. I think it'll pass. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, that's a It's a very good one. Yes or no? Good one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, picked it up and swam, so I kind of thought. Ooh, ooh, he's got a good one on, on the baby pole. I mean, look what a fish is. Oh, Tony, oh, another keeper. Now, he's, now, now you got the New York bite, love it. And, and look at this, Doc. I think he's got a keeper on, too. I don't know. It lightened up a lot, man. No, there it goes. <laughs> look at this. What does he got? Doc, stop cursing. It's only shit. It's only shit. It's only poop. This thing is taking it's so like much line. Run. Third run. That is so, so cool. There it is, there it is. That pull is so cool. Oh, it's a keeper. Oh, it's a keeper. Oh, yeah. I got it, I got it. 
Oh, look at that! Hey. Nice! That's nice! <laughs> nice! Nice job, sweetie. Nice, thanks, man. <laughs> and those were going to be our last two keepers on this trip but but really the the theme of the trip was wow we we had a, a day filled with lemons a 15 to 20 mile an hour wind we, we only saw i think one other boat fishing out there um but you know we decided to to stick it out in the bay and you know it's early in the season it's uh, mid to late october water's not cold yet and as long as you can find structure in our case we found a rock pile chances are you will find blackfish um they they're there uh, and you have to have patience you have to build the bite and and when you do you usually are rewarded um you know as always if you like these videos hit that like button and if you're not already a subscriber please hit that subscriber button and uh you know before you change the channel uh some boating footage here with uh with our friend doc uh, and uh, his interactions with a crab and anybody who's blackfished before uh using live crabs has had this happen to them it is not fun and it is oh so very painful like sashimi yeah look at that i'll freaking set up a whole meal ah ah get this <laughs> get it fucking up it died there ah, Wait, let me see let me see <laughs> you know i had no intention of taking it off right <laughs> you were gonna freaking do you were gonna fry <laughs> i was gonna tighten it i was gonna squeeze it harder <laughs> I was like, where's that? I said, where? I where? Bring it, bring it. Bring it. And then I, I pulled away. I said, that is the stupidest. That, that was a mistake. Thing I can do. Yes, it was.